Hey everyone, it's Kevin Garland here, and today I figured I'd do a video on how to hinge an aircraft um, elevator with using Gorilla Glue. Uh, Colton Clark taught me this procedure uh, a while back when I was using my 104, or when I was building my 104 MXS. And as you can see here, I just laid a blue piece of tape down. This is for to put the Gorilla Glue on in uh, order to spread the glue around the hinge. Um, the next step, as you see what I'm doing here, is I'm showing a a cup that I used. Um, this is just like a epoxy mixing cup that I've cut down in half and I'm just going to pour some red line oil in this cup. Uh, red line oil works better to me versus uh, Vaseline. It's a lot cleaner and smells a little better. So basically I'm going to take the hinge and fold it in half as so or fold it and just dip the hinge point into the red line oil. It doesn't take much just slightly dip it in and then uh, move the hinge around back and forth and set it on the paper towel that, I, that you see in front of you. Um, just do this for all, all the hinges and uh, once that's completed, we'll move on to the gluing process. The next step is we're gonna take the Gorilla Glue and basically put a dab on the blue tape. Um, what this is for is to, uh, you're gonna take the hinge later on and basically roll the hinge in the Gorilla Glue and then wipe it away later, uh, or wipe out the uh, excess later. Um, and after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Gorilla Glue and then fill each hole in the uh, elevator as I'm about to do here. It doesn't take much, it just takes about a pea-sized drop in each hole. Um, once you do complete each drop into the elevator holes, you're going to lay the elevator down flat while we, get, while we prep the hinges. One thing to note is that I just opened up this airplane yesterday, uh, which um, I'm starting to build it today, which um, doesn't really require water to activate the Gorilla Glue. There's already moisture inside the elevator where the Gorilla Glue is going to already activate with moisture that's inside the elevator. If you opened up your aircraft and let it set for a few weeks out of the box, yes, you would probably have to add some moisture or some water to it in order to get the Gorilla Glue to kick off. If you're building a extreme flight airplane, for example, this uh, Slick 580 120cc size, the three M board hinges. Um, you will notice that three of them are shorter versus the other versus the outside hinges on the horizontal stab side. And the reason for this is because the um, uh, tube that goes into the horizontal stab, the stab tube, um, would actually hit the hinges if they were actually full length. So if you notice, there's three of them that are cut a little shorter. So just ensure that you have the correct hinges in the right spot when um, assembling your airplane. Always reference the manual. Basically what you're seeing me doing now is I'm taking a hinge and rolling it in the glue that you see on the blue tape. And after I roll it in the glue and the blue tape on one side, I roll it some more on the clear part of the tape just to wipe off the excess glue. Once I get done doing that, I actually insert the hinge into the elevator itself. Next we're going to take the horizontal stab and take the Gorilla Glue and basically fill in the holes like we did on the elevator with the Gorilla Glue. Again, it only takes about a pea size amount of Gorilla Glue in each hole. Once it's completed, we'll lay the stab down flat on the table.
Now we're going to put another dab of Gorilla Glue on the blue tape and basically tape our popsicle stick. And um, take the Gorilla Glue and lightly rub each hinge on the other side uh, with some Gorilla Glue. Again, it doesn't take much um, on each side, it just takes a light coating on each side of the hinge. Now it's time to join the two halves together um, to complete the process. Um, basically, you're just going to take the elevator, slide it into a horizontal stab like you normally would with any type of um, assembly. Um, the thing to note, though, is previously when I inserted the first hinge into the elevator, the little pin that you see on the hinge should go about halfway inside the elevator where the other half goes inside the horizontal stab. And the reason for this, it makes for a very tight fit, so you don't even need to use hinge uh, gap tape because the fit is so tight. Uh, again, this is something that Colton Clark showed me a while back. Um, as you can see now, I'm joining the two halves together and pushing each side and as far as they can go. And we're going to get the blue painter's tape ready and basically create like a um, pull pull cables type situation where we're going to tighten up each side of the elevator half. You kind of want it to be at a little bit of an angle um, when you take the two sides together. And here's what it looks like completed. Um, as you can see, I'm showing that there's really no hinge gap in the surface. And now we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes before we actually start, take the blue tape off. I've let the elevator sit and dry for about 30, 45 minutes. Now I'm just taking some alcohol and wiping up the excess glue and red line oil. As you can see, I'm still getting my same amount of throw while maintaining no hinge gap. Um, in fact, I may not even have to run any hinge gap tape on this surface. Uh, thank you guys for watching and hope this helped you out and um, if you have any questions, please let me know.